Listen, very proud of that football team last year. Um, you know what? I think the biggest thing we showed is that um, competitively, um, we were able to compete with with pretty much everyone in the OUA. Um, you know, with the exception of the Western game where we were down, oh my gosh, we were down five starters on offense and, and, and a couple on defense, and you have to be a full strength when you play those guys. But other than that game, you know, we were... We battled and competed in every game, and we had some stellar victories. You know, very proud of that victory over Waterloo. Um, you know, a, a dynamic, well-coached football team. That was a big victory for this program. And how strong we finished against Carleton and, uh, and, and, and Toronto. You know, Carleton uh, missed field goal return was the, was the big turning point in that game. And then I just thought a, a real dominant performance um, by offense, defense, and special teams in that Toronto game paved way for the future. Um, you know, we lost a couple of leaders uh, from last season, um, but I think last season has paved the way for uh, future success in 2019. You know, it's it's looking back, one of the big things we kept saying to the team last year was, when you guys figure out how good you are, you're going to be dangerous. And it took us a while for them to figure out how good they were. Um, I think they've remembered that message. I've never seen the team work harder in the off season. Um, they, were, they were definitely a team on a mission, um, and that's translated over the last couple of days of camp. Training camp's been great. <laughs> you know, the first four days we took on a on a road trip to Montreal. Um, it's you know what when whenever you take your team away for training camp, um, the bonding and brotherhood you get uh, far far outweighs um, you know the other stuff. You know when you're at home. You can install. You have meeting rooms. You're comfortable. You know where everything is. When you're on the road, you're, you know it takes a couple of couple of days to get your bearings. Um, but what we gained um, from being in Montreal, holding joint practices um, with Concordia in Carleton, um, you know, sharing facilities with um, two great CJET programs, Vanier College and John Abbott College. You know what? The work we got done in four days in Montreal. Um, I, I couldn't put a price tag on it in terms of value, what it's going to do for us this season. It's You know what, I think I've answered this question for the last three years as our offense. Um, you know, we've definitely transitioned. Um, uh, we're transitioning into a defensive football team, and uh, I'm, I'm really, really proud of that. Um, uh, from recruitment to our leadership um, with, with Ross and, and Janky um, and Damian Jamison, um, you know, the leadership we have over there, um, they were a unit last season, those last four games, they were a dominant unit. Um, now, not to say, <laughs> not to say that they're going to carry our offense, that's, that's not the case at all. We are, um, in terms of, of, of veteran leadership and, and, and talent, we are still old on that side of the ball and we have high expectations that we're going to be the best offense um, in, in the OUA. We have a fifth-year quarterback who I would put as one of the best quarterbacks in the country. I, as far as I'm concerned, there's no one better in the OUA. I think he's the best in the country. And we're just loaded with talent at the skill positions, at the running back position, um, and with some tremendous recruiting this offseason, we have a pretty, pretty talented offensive line that we're extremely proud of. Wow, I'm looking forward to seeing their, their hunger and their passion because it's been, wow, since they've reported for camp, the energy levels have been through the roof. I've, I've honestly never seen this before, um, the, the constant, constant energy on the field. There's no taking plays off. There's no taking periods off. Um, it's high energy in everything we do. Um, you know what, they, they've, they've got a big chip on their shoulder right now, and, and I'm just dying to see what they're going to do with that chip. We are, I think we're a talented football team. This is the most talented football team um, I've seen. Um, I could argue, we'll see what happens at the end. I think this could be the most talented football team York has ever seen in its history. Uh, and, you know, um, it's, we're playing in the toughest conference in the country. Um, the OUA, I always refer to it when we're recruiting as the SEC. Um, it is a bloodbath. This whole conference is a bloodbath. Um, but we have a, you know, we feel we're at a point in our program build where we can compete with everybody, and it's just taking that next step. Um, as far as uh, as far as predictions go, um, we've set a team goal in private that we're not going to share with anyone. Um, but I promised my team we were going to look 
at every week, and that's all we were going to look at. And as all I can tell you right now is is we're aiming to beat Windsor on Sunday. I I think the biggest thing is just belief. They have the talent. It's always been a it's always been a belief thing for them. Taking a couple of games or a couple of quarters to believe how good they are. I think they know how good they are right now, and it's about executing. Um, I you know we have a tremendous coaching staff on on the offensive side, led by Kamo, uh, by Coach Kamal Peterson. Um, who's done a tremendous job with our offense and continues to do so. Um, our O-line coach, Matt Sewell, <laughs> there's not a better one in the game in the OUA as far as I'm concerned. And you know what, they're working their butts off to get to get this, uh, um, to get this the offensive side of the ball. Uh, coach Deans, our recruiting coordinator, surrounded the offense with talent and defense with talent. And the same thing on D. You know what Coach Ockpro's done in a short period of time here um, has been fantastic. Um, We've been fortunate enough to bring some in some some new coaches. A young man who who played at Bishops, um, but is a Toronto uh, is a is a native of Toronto. Kendrick Ritchie, in four days, has done well, transformed our D line like I've never seen before. So, you know, to answer your question, we just need the whistle. That's what we need to judge how good this football team is going to be.